Hello everyone, this is Suzanne, God, Crochet, and Chatter. <sighs> it's been another great day. Got a lot of things done this morning. I worked on the dishcloth, which I will show you in a little while. I went for a nice long walk with my hubby. It was rather cold, so I came home and got all warm, and I decided to get really comfy today, and I got my jammies on. Oh, it feels so good. There's, it's warm. It's comfortable in here now. I had a nice meal. Oh, wow. Mm, my hunger is gone. I'm full. But I have a hunger that never goes away unless I daily feed it. That's what we're going to talk about on a devotion today. As you know, at God Crochet and Chatter, we like to put God first. And then we talk about crochet, and we do love to chatter. I hope soon to figure out how to do a live so we can converse back and forth. I think that would be a lot of fun. All right, we're going to get to our devotion, and then this is kind of a segue into the Bible in 52 weeks. I will give you Monday's readings today. So we'll be on track every day. We'll get to this in just a minute. I have this book called Rest Assured for, uh, by Ruth Graham. She did the foreword in the book, but Nancy McGurk is the author. And she had a really nice devotional, and I think it really fits into what we're going to be doing. So let's talk about nourishing your soul that's something we have to feed every day just like food for our tummies we don't feed it every day it's going to start growling at us loudly <laughs> all right let's get to the devotion i am the bread of life john 6 48 no one likes to be hungry we get irritated and feeling desperate to feel the emptiness inside. The same is true spiritually. Just as our stomachs ache when not filled with food, so our heart and soul ache when we're not filled with God. God has put eternity in our hearts, a longing for God. And to fill the heart with anything else is to leave it malnourished. You can be sure that your spiritual soul is hungry for God if it's been a while since your last spiritual meal. You may have noticed the symptoms. Less patience, kindness, and love for others. These are the hunger pains of an empty heart. All the attributes that demonstrate the presence of the Holy Spirit begin to dissipate unless we are nourished by the only one who can satisfy the more we have been satisfied with the nourishment of God's love, his word, and his presence, the more we will yearn for it when it is missing. So we have to be attuned to those hunger pains. I know if my day is kind of going bad and I start grumbling a little bit or snipping at my husband, I go, whoa, okay. You got to spiritually feed your soul here right now. And I do, and we get through it. Well, let's talk about nourishing your soul. I made this card. I'll hold it up here for a few minutes for you. God has put eternity in our hearts, a longing for God. You know, even when I was a little girl, I knew. There had to be more than we are born, we live, and we die, and that's it? Like, what's the point? A spiritual meal, nourishment of God's love, his word, his presence, yearned for it, hunger pains. And we are created for fellowship with the Father, to love him, and to be loved by him. He is our daily bread. We are united with him as we study his word daily, commune with him through prayer, live lives of obedience, 
for the rest of your life. Avoid spiritual malnourishment by feeding on the bread of heaven. So we're going to study his word daily, commune with him through prayer, live lives of obedience, and for the rest of your life, avoid spiritual malnourishment by feeding on the bread of heaven. Now I have a question for you. Here it is. How do you nourish your soul? Now we talked about this book, 52, the Bible in 52 weeks, a year long Bible study for women. This book um, is available on Amazon by Dr. Kimberly D. Moore. Um, you don't have to have the book. This is what I'm going to be working out of so I can make all my notes. The book really is in a nice format. Like week one, starting on Monday, for the whole week, you read four chapters a day. On the sixth day, you are finished reading for the week. But on the seventh day, it's catch-up day. So if you need to catch up on something that you didn't read or didn't get time to do it somehow, you can catch up. And this is a card that I made for me. Maybe you want to make one for you. And I'll make a new card each week. And here is what I put on my card. I'm going to hold this here for a second in case you want to write down. You can pause it and write down the chapter verses, uh, chapters to read. Um, each day. But we're going to take one day at a time. Now on Monday, I want you to go ahead and read chapters 1 through 4 by Monday. That way on Monday, I can give you Tuesday's chapters, then on Tuesday, Wednesday's chapter, chapters, and so forth. And each week we're going to pat ourselves on the back. We did it. Absolutely. So, Monday, February 8th, we are making a commitment to God to read His Word, four chapters a day, and at the end of the week, I will come back on and we'll do like a summation of what the chapters covered, like an outline, a biblical outline of that week, of the things that we read. And then at the end of all the readings for that week, she wrote a very nice summation here of some things. Like she says, um, my purpose is to encourage the encourager today. And he, she's going to talk about Abraham, how um, Abraham, God told Abraham that he would make him a great nation. And she kind of does a real nice thought here after our readings. And... It takes you through the first four chapters. I had my outline somewhere. Of course, I can't find it now. But I'll find it by Monday. So I can show you what I did on my card. It might be in my Bible here. Let me check. Uh, nope. Okay. Well, it's amid the disarray on my desk. And I will get to that. So, Oh, and then at the end, there's some questions. And right here, she has actions for the week, which is really, really nice. So she says, um, decide in your heart to think and speak positively, replacing negative words with positive ones. Well, that sounds good. So that's kind of just a brief idea of what we're going to be doing. I think it's going to be exciting. As I was reading today and studying, I also ran across a YouTube channel that had all chapters of the Bible broken down, excuse me, broken down and gave a really nice outline. When we know what's in what we're reading, like the context, who it was spoken to, and kind of get a general idea of what's in these books, it will heighten your Bible study and your prayer time. So I'm looking forward to it, and I hope you are too. 
So that's it for today on the devotion part. I hope you're going to get something out of this. And I do hope some more of you, you know, think about joining in on this. What I'm going to do is come on Monday and I'll do my regular devotion. And then we will have read chapters one through four. I may do a little summation there of those four chapters real quickly. And then I'll give you the next to read on Tuesday. And that's how we'll do it every day. That way I'm not making two separate videos. Saves me a little bit of time too, right? All right, everyone. Now, I did work on the dishcloth for my granddaughter. I worked on it this morning. Last night, I did a few rows on my Elena wrap. But this is, look at this. Now I'm on my decreasing rows, which is uh, really fun. It's coming along quickly. I usually knit this way. Okay, I put my needle here, and then I put it in, and then I go up and around. Well, I've been trying to practice continental style. That's where you hold it back here, and then you put it in, and you kind of scoop the yarn as you go. It's really quick that way. I'm a little bit clumsy doing that yet, but hey, practice makes perfect, right? So, I hope everybody has had a blessed day. It was good for us. I am a little more tired after my walk today. Um, I have very broken sleep at night, and today's been trying to catch up with me. I almost fell asleep on the couch a couple times. <laughs> so I'm trying to stay awake so I get, hopefully, a better night's rest. All right, everyone. This is Suzanne at God Crochet and Chatter. Welcome to my new subscribers. You're very, very welcome into our family. And... Press that notification bell, the subscribe, the like button, all that good stuff. Because I want you to be notified of each and every upcoming video. Alright everyone, may the good Lord bless and keep you till we meet again. This is Suzanne at God Crochet and Chatter. And Lord willing, I will see you tomorrow. Bye everyone. Have a blessed evening.